Come on. Look how remarkable are pandanus trees. It's absolutely unique architecture. Kind of triangle, then straight center, and the upper triangle. So, like a sand clock. Very funny view. It's the South's Botanical Garden on Okinawa on November 19. And these pandanas are prepared for the evening illumination, but it does not prevent us to see the absolutely unique architecture. Pandanas belong to monocot groups. So these are monocot plants and they, of course, uh, lack the nice, like regular secondary thickening which is very typical for, for example, conifers and dicots. So they need to make some measures to compensate the absence of regularly working mirror stems, which makes them thicker and thicker. So first of all, they develop stilt roots. So stilt roots will support the weak basement of stem, which naturally in monocots is weaker than upper parts. And then, of course, we'll make tree more sustainable in case, for example, of typhoons, which are not unfrequent on Okinawa. So then the architectural model, the growing starting in a very interesting way. So this is, of course, female tree. So female trees will have female flowers and then that big infructescence, which consists of multiple fused fruits. The male trees which contain multiple male infructescences, which are mostly just stamens with some additional brands. And these infructescences, uh, female inflorescences and male inflorescences appear on forks, forks between branches. So after that inflorescence will develop, the secondary shoots will start to grow in both sideway directions. So if you look on the crown of this pandanus tree, it consists mostly of forks. So each fork is a result of inflorescence, which replaces the terminal bud. So then the actual shoot is stopped to grow. And lateral shoots will go typically like symmetrically on both sides. So that form a famous like double triangle sand clock appearance of pandanus and that thing has a name. So French scientists in 70s, 1970s developed absolutely wonderful series of so-called architectural models. Architectural models is an idea of how tree is growing and that typically will result in a very specific shape of the crown. So this pandanus around me mostly go with so-called scaron model. This is exactly how it looks. So they are opposite or verticillate branches and in each fork will develop inflorescence and then new branches will continue the growth. So-called sympodial, sympodial growth of this architectural shoot system. So steel roots, sympodial growth, make this current model extremely attractive and good for botanical gardens. So this is again South's Botanical Gardens on Okinawa on November 19th. Thank you very much.